I'll start by checking the upper radiator hose to see if it is hot or pressurized. I'm squeezing that and it's not hot to the touch at all and not pressurized. So in this case, it's safe to remove the radiator cap. So I'll remove this cap. And then what I'll do is I'll reach down and I'll get a hold of the radiator drain valve and I'll open that. And it starts draining. Now that all the antifreeze has drained out, we'll close the radiator drain valve and prepare to refill the cooling system. We're gonna refill this cooling system using a vacuum fill method. This device is capable of drawing a vacuum on the cooling system, removing most of the air so that we can simply fill the whole system with antifreeze. We install this into the neck of the radiator opening, close the valve, in this case apply shop air. Now that we've removed most of the air from the cooling system, we'll actually refill it. Here I have the proper antifreeze for this vehicle pre-mixed with water. Um, in this particular climate uh, where we are in most places in the country, uh, mixing the antifreeze uh, half and half with water will provide you with antifreeze protection to about minus 40 degrees Fahrenheit. So we insert the inlet tube into here and when I open up the valve, the antifreeze will be drawn into the cooling system. And the benefit of this type of a system is that it will fill the cooling system very, leaving very little voids. Um, and so there won't be much in the way of air pockets uh, in, the, in the system. 